Uh, fuck, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos. Um, Alright, so... First thing is... Uh, I did bug fixing, so you can actually see what I'm talking about now instead of showing you uh, broken code. I said I was going to do a thing where the characters could move, uh, I could like schedule them to do things, and also have like conditionals so that, uh, yeah, conditionals for, you know, what kind of actions they take and whatnot um, for the like present, future part of the case. So I've got a little test here with the supporting detective. Um, so what he's supposed to do is at, um, at 101, he he will uh, go to like a blank location, uh, one that's not anywhere in here. And at 140 something, he'll go to the police station. And uh, he's only supposed to go to the police station if he's uh, starting from that blank location. And by default, uh, if you're interviewing a character, which means they're in this uh, title here, this tab, um, and y you know you can do all this. If you're interviewing someone, they they can't uh, like run away. They can't move while you're talking to them, while you're interviewing them. Um, so if we're just if I waste some time to get through 101, right? He hasn't moved to the blank location, and that means at, uh, you know, 140, he won't be at the police station, uh, or past 140. Um, of course, that just looks like nothing happened at all. <laughs> um, so let's reset and do the, the opposite. So here we're gonna, let's just go to the police station first. Um, so now we'll go to 22, I don't actually know how to say that. Um, and he's not here. If we go to the police station, he's not here either because it's not past 40 yet, but let's just uh, hit that. And now he is in this thing. Um, and you notice, uh, when I, when I moved to him, it gave us some evidence, and that's, uh, uh, you know, when you come to someone, they can give you evidence right here, like he's, he's giving me information about, uh, about the hospital, which shows up now after he's talked, and the first responders who are at the hospital, if you go there, and uh, about the victim. And so you see they're there, and this is a person that's just uh, available. I can set that. Um, all right, there's the record secretary, which I haven't shown before. So if you just uh, add a person, so retrieve city records on the victim, Louis Velasco, it will give you, um, so date of birth, uh, why does it say, why is it, that's a bug, I don't know why it's saying Maria Sanchez, uh, probably because I fucked something up, so I, I need to do some more bug fixing, but anyways, I, this, I'll just uh, show what the, it'll be like the date of birth, and the residence, and that'll give you uh, a location, and um, vehicles, that's something I recently added, vehicle registrations, and if they like oh, own a vehicle, you know, sorts of things that you would get from city records. Um, their parents and siblings and spouse and children and divorcees. Um, and uh, what else have I added? The lab technician, uh, you can, hold on, I gotta arrest someone first. So let's go to, let's arrest the first responder. For, all right, when you arrest someone, as before, you get their blood and fingerprints during processing. Um, but now, um, their fingerprints, it, it says on this thing that they have 10 unique fingerprints. That's because I'm, I'm simulating all the fingers now. <laughs> so um, when I drop fingerprints on something, I'm dropping fingerprints from individual fingers. Um, 
which it could be useful for something at some point. Um, and then we have, uh, and I've kind of made the blood typing a little bit more involved so that this is, I've gotten the blood, but I don't have the blood types. So you have to go to the lab technician and like give him the blood uh, to get a blood type from it. Um, and as before, if you have fingerprints, you have to have another set of fingerprints to match it to. Um, so yeah, I got some more bug fixing to do, I guess, and I have to like properly work on the story. I mean, it's kind of complicated working on this because as you can see <laughs> with all this shit, um, you make something, it, it, it's not like writing a story linearly where you can just go this, then this, then this. It's, you know, every piece of evidence has tangents um, coming off of it, which you have to make. And, I mean, the, the most uh, linear concept for dealing with it is um, like a timeline, building up a timeline. But it's very um, complicated showing that, like creating that in text, I might need to create like a tool or something so that I can, some sort of level designer, but for this shit. 